last time on Opposites. Wait a minute. What are you up to in such a hurry? Oh, I got a call back from my audition. Now, I'd like you guys to meet Marie Stiller. She's going to be our new music department instructor. Hi, everyone. You look really familiar. Huh. So do you. Dude. Just be grateful that your dad's in your life. Yes, I will. I got the part! You got the part? I got the part! Now I'm with Private Eye and the volunteer at the local clinic. Uh, what do you guys think about the show? Do you see that? Yes. Do you see yeah. that? Yes. I'm a fish on that. Yeah, you are. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. You know, that was... Wow. You are on TV. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. You're very well club. Thank you. I'm really impressed with you, Savannah. Thank you. This means a lot coming from you all. Uh, what do you guys think about the show? You were amazing. That Vivica, though, in the hat. Vivica Stone. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's everything. Yeah. Other than that, the show was on TV. It was yeah, on yeah. television. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. It was. Okay. Uh, what did you guys think about it? They say that film noir is really making a comeback. Well, I mean, it's um. You know, I love film noirs. Yeah. Do you like the show? Come on, you're on TV. You're glad you were on TV. Now be content. What he mean to say is we are all. So proud of you. So proud. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys don't like the show, huh? What? Who's that bad? No, no one's saying that. Then what are you guys saying? That it's... I'm glad you got a job you can be proud of. Mm. It's such a big deal. I was proud of my job at the clinic, and I'm just as proud of my job on the show. Maybe happier now that I'm doing something I love. Which is great. So great. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. I know it's great, but I want you guys to just be honest with me. Your honest opinion about the show. I know you like me in it, but do you like it? The show is... You know, I love film noirs. I know that, Marcus. And I appreciate that. And we appreciate you. We do. Mm -hmm. You guys, I just... Want you to be, be honest with you? Yes. It's okay. It's average. I don't not like it. Okay. I love film awards. But this it sucks. It's bad. You were good. Your acting mm -hmm. was really good. Um the show itself, it kinda hurt to watch a little. You know, it's kind of like when you have a bowl of trail mix with chocolate, and you say to yourself, I like chocolate, but I don't like trail mix. Exactly. exactly. So, I'm the chocolate. Yes. And the trail mix. Yes. yes. Yeah. Um, I want to say thank you, but I can't for some reason. But I guess thanks for watching the show. Anytime. Of course. Come on, come on. I'm good. Um, I just have to make some phone calls. Wow. What did we say? You compared him to Trill Mix Chocolate. Y'all agree. Don't not put the talk on me. I mean, it was a good metaphor. No shade. It was a good metaphor. Mm -hmm. I could have put it better myself. Blanche Trill Mix mm -hmm. with a hint of chocolate. Wow, that's yeah. a perfect comparison. Were we mean just now? No, no, I don't mean. No, no, I'm just good. A little bit. I mean, um, kind of. Y'all are just bad friends. Anthony, exit stage left. I feel a lot of shade right now, and I'm not the one who called him Chalmers Chocolate. Neither did I. I yeah. was oh, so gonna put this back on me.
And that's why it's not actually manslaughter, but more like accidental death and dismemberment, which is not at all as bad, legally speaking. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, me too. I mean, anyways. So, where did you work before this? I taught private lessons for years before I started subbing at Carter Elementary. Really? Mm -hmm. So, instrument and voice? Yeah, both. Um, they have one teacher teaching the uh, little singers and beginning an intermediate orchestra and band. Wow, that sounds like adult abuse. It was definitely a challenge. So, wait, you play like all the instruments? Well, everything in elementary and middle school band and orchestra. Uh, let's see, <laughs> B-flat and bass clarinet, uh, trumpet, trombone, baritone, tenor, and alto saxophone, um, flute, violin, viola, cello, and bass. Wow, that's impressive. <coughs> Creeper! <coughs> what was that? Oh, I said greetings, but I coughed right at that moment. Yeah, sure you did. Thank you. It's nothing. I have some friends that are way better than me. That's still impressive, though. So, uh, what's your favorite song? Um, Rough City in Blue by Gershwin. Yours? Bone Thugs and Harmony, first of the month. I love that song. Really? Yeah. Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's, it's the first, first of, of the month. month. Uh, Marie, <laughs> you know I actually play saxophone as well. Oh, yeah? You have a saxophone? Uh, not right now, per se. But I was once in a retro future punk ska alternative funk band called Potzilla and the Chronic. Anthony, that was you? Yeah, man, you know the Zilla? Well, no, but I heard y'all play once at, what was his name? Mike Thompson's 11th grade party. Oh, man, that was the good band. Mm -hmm. Good times. Didn't the band break up because... Alleged Viagra trafficking, but that was never proven. Joshua. Proven. Um, I used to be in a band, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah, um, it was a four-piece chamber orchestra called the Violin Femmes. Uh, we played weddings, bar and bat mitzvahs, and old people's birthdays. I like that. The Violin Femmes. <laughs> hey, Joshua, weren't you part of the tuba squad? You guys played competitive polka, right? Yeah, you did! Good. Bro, the Krawski Polish Folk Dance Ensemble is no joke and they need their tuba squad. You know, out of all the brass instruments, the tuba is my favorite. <laughs> you know, of all the schedules, the one I made is my favorite. Ten minutes till class starts, everyone. That means you too. Oh, and sir, you no longer have to worry about Joshua. We're working on his behavior. No more swearing at school. <laughs> Thank you, Anthony, but brown nosing will get you nowhere. You are here until your sentence is finished. Period. <laughs> That was a grammar joke for you all? Okay, time to go. Good morning. Let's go. Good, Good morning, morning, Mr. Friesen. Good morning, Mr. Freeze. Well, it's bad, man, when you need him. I heard that. What you must understand is there's no way out for you. You stuck your nose in the wrong place, and therefore, it must be removed. Well, I fooled you to stay at a downtown, okay? You're both insane. Charm, you're a murderer, and eventually the law will catch up to you. And Johnny, you smell like an entire bag of shit. Boy, I got you all Cut! Take five, everyone. Come on. We're going more for Shav Meek Dick Tracy. Give me that. You're doing great, but I need you to be greater. You both are two seasoned actors. Act like it. Is this how the biz always is? Not, not always. Just most of the time. What to the walls, my friend. No one calls it the biz. I call it the industry. Thanks, man. Yeah. <laughs> You're in Twisted Crowns, right? Yes, yes I am. My whole family loves that show. Uh, yeah, I'm super blessed to have it, yeah. Have you seen X-Gordons? I guess it that. Brand new. Can't miss it. It's one of the best work. I'll check it out. It's Kavan, right? Yes, it was so. If I may, you seem distracted. Is something bothering you? I mean, I feel like I have this character down. I mean, completely down. It's just I'm having issues with my friends, I guess. You still have friends. What? Of course. I mean, you're getting booked in all these lead roles. So. 
that can change. Things can change. People can change. The football. It does go like that sometimes. I had such nice friends when I first started acting, but after my second movie, they stopped coming to my premieres. I think they were jealous. Oh, most definitely. Yeah. Your friends jealous of it? I mean, maybe, but I don't have anything to be jealous of. Honey, you're on television. You are right about that. Have you noticed your friends acting strange ever since you got the new part? They were happy when I first got it. Well, that's how it starts. Go on, look. The critics love the show. My whole team loves the show. I don't even have to pay half of them to say that, so... The show is great. I know. Wow. I guess they are jealous. Caught the show trail mix. What did they say? They said that I'm chocolate in the show's trail mix. Uh, that sounds like projecting. Classic projecting. See, your friends feel like trail mix, so they have to call the show trail mix. That makes perfect sense. Mm -hmm. I see. What you need is more honest associates. You know, people with mutual professional interests. So, you know, you can hang out with them, go to small dinner parties. Oh, I haven't been to a wine and cheese party in forever. Oh, you yeah. haven't. One every third Tuesday, and always on four minutes. Oh, yeah, wow, yeah, no, yeah. I'd love to go to a wine and cheese party. Come on, you are a wine and cheese guy. You're too big for these trail mix friends. It's time to upgrade. Maybe you're right. All right, people, and we're back. Let's see this magic. I need Chef Tracy. Give me Chef Tracy! <laughs> Action. What you don't understand is that there's no way out for you. You know, I like it this way. You're right, Marcus. It's the feng shui. It's the feng shui. I'm just always the feng shui. Did I tell you about the feng shui? Mm -hmm. You know, I want to stand girl with sweat fungus. Nasty. Not fungus, fool. Is that the same thing? No. I thought it was. Oh, hey, Kavon. How was that? Why are you always here? Excuse me? You're like jazz from Fresh Prince. Thank you. Yeah, that wasn't a compliment. And don't think that I don't see what's happening. I see what's happening. What's happening? The seeds of discontent spreading after I became a star. <laughs> a what? And my own brother couldn't make it to my premiere. Oh, hold the hell on. You know he had midterms this week. Why are you so tense, man? Yeah. Why are you always here, man? Just as bad as Marcus. Well, damn. Josh, you don't know how to help nobody. You're not grateful that your dad's back in your life. Whoa, 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 you need to slow that down. I wasn't even talking and we just went camping with my dad the other day. <laughs> yeah, after you had to play and beg you for a week, you damn near had the man running out of here. You know what I would give to have my father back in my life? That's not even fair, man. We're two different people. Exactly. Two different people. And everybody here is jealous of my success. Jealous? <laughs> Boy, ain't nobody jealous and of you. And tricked. What did I do? Nothing. You're a shining example of a human being. But everyone else, the color of the day is green. For envy. I'm gonna go get a hotel and I'll send for my things. Good day. Did he just say he's gonna send for his things? Classic. Who the hell do he think he is? Maybe he's just treating himself. Yeah, to a drink. Wait, do y'all think he's mad about what we said about the show the other day? Probably. Probably. He did mention my dad. He did. But he also said we were jealous. He said y'all were jealous. Keep me out of this now. Oh, shut up, Trina. I'm just saying. Do you think we should call Chris and have him talk to him? No, Chris is dealing with enough stuff at school right now. We can handle this ourselves. Okay. Let's go. Not right now. Why not? Um, one, we don't know where he went. Two, we need to plan this out. And can we at least finish our game of space before y'all try to save the day? Yeah. All right. So we're going to wait for him to come back from the hotel? No, he's becoming more of a pompous ass as we speak. Okay, so we visit him on set. Y'all can't just go to this man's job and embarrass him. It's not embarrassed, more like support. Encourage. Exactly. They're filming downtown, we should visit. Yes, we should. And you're coming too. Why do I need to go? Um, Mr. Shining Example, Biblical Stone? Well, in that case, I'll go and I'll drive. 
you know, I don't really care about this that much at all, but you had me at Vivica. Mm -hmm. Count your books, bitches. <sighs> That's it. All right, I'm going to take a shit. <clears throat> oh, nice. Okay. Woo! Oh. Go take your little books. I'm the winner. <laughs> Pack it up. <laughs> Such a sore loser. Don't forget to practice your skills, okay? Okay, good. Hi, Josh. Hey, Marie. How was class? Well, it was a breeze today, actually. The kids are naturally talented. They're organizing their own practice sessions during lunch. <sighs> I wish these kids were half as motivated for whole body health. I taught sex ed today, and they wouldn't stop giggling the entire time. Can you blame them? No, I couldn't stop either. So, you play the tuba, huh? I used to. I don't play it much anymore. And yes, I was in a band called the Tuba Squad. Oh, Ugh. hold that thought. I'll be back in a moment. Hey, Mariah. It's Marie. Yeah, Marie, Mariah Carey. Hey, girl. Mmm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm -hmm. what? What, he says. <laughs> oh, you think... No, we're just being nice, man. Just being nice. Sure you were. So, um, what was she talking about? Okay, nosy. She was asking me about my tuba experience. Your tuba experience? Yeah. Yeah, she was flirting. What? Josh, do I have to spell it out for you? No one cares about the tuba squad. My mom loves the tuba squad. That's harsh, man. Harsh. It's the harsh reality we all have to come to. Except your mom. So? So what? Are you going to flirt back? I'm telling you, Marcus, she wasn't flirting with me. Sure. What you should do is just ask if she wants to hang out after work. That's all I'm saying. You better do it before Anthony does. If Anthony do it, then she ain't going to have a chance. And you ain't going to have a chance in here. That's all I'm saying. I'll catch you later, man. All right? Think about it. Hey, hey you leaving so soon? Yes, you know, I have children to inspire to help grow to be better. <laughs> I'll catch you later. Heartbreaking. <laughs> um, where were we, Mr. Tuba Squad? Hey, Marie, would you be interested in hanging out at the school? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. Um. So yeah, the Polish Krauski folk and dance ensemble was no joke. Oh really? Oh yeah, let me tell you about this time that Kenny got stuck in the tuba. Chris, well it's about time. What are you doing here? Look, my baby brother's acting a goddamn fool. Just was getting it together, so I had to take time from my study to come down and bring this big head ass down to size. So you know what time it is. And you do know Bill Stone is here, right? I do. But that did not influence my decision whatsoever. I said only reason I'm here. You're horrible. I'm honest. All right, y'all. If anyone asks, he snuck in. Thanks, Derek. I will be seeing you at the cookout next week here. All right, now. Let's get this over with. I want to go to the cookout. I know, Josh. I know. And then I said, if you don't get the red wine stain out of my patch meter, I will have to call him. Oh my god, is that the stone? Hi, Miss Stone, how you doing? I'm well, thank you. Oh my god, she said hi to me. Brother, everyone, what are you doing here? I thought you had midterms. I do. But when I heard you going off on people like you lost your rabbit mind, I had to intervene. Goodbye, what's going on with you? Brother, I'm here living my best life, and you don't support that. What makes you think I don't support that? What makes you think all of us don't support everything? Oh, he's the trail mix pass. Wait, what was that? What was said was, you're all yesterday blabbed, like consulted nuts and dried fruit tosses. Well, I see where Karan got his bougieness from. You are? Look, I'm not the one. You don't want me to take my earrings off. So you told them what trail mix means. He told us you were jealous of his newfound success. You're here to protect him from your subpar nature. Damn, it's like that. 
that's not exactly what we said. You know something about it? As much as a joy as it is being insulted by Vivica Stone, by the way, I love your sister's romance novels. Thank you. But that's besides the point. You got one episode on TV, and you turn on your friends and your family that quick? You didn't even come to my premiere. Aren't you his brother? Shut, Shut up. up. I'm about two seconds off your ass. <laughs> Duly noted. Javon, you know I have no talents, and I would never miss your premiere, but I did watch it. Okay. So, what did you think? Um, see? What? That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Whatever you're talking about, stop. And all of you, I don't know you, off my set now. You. 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 Round two, let's do this. See, I knew there was something fishy about this set. Shh, shh. Uh, my name is Jalen, and I'm the producer of this lovely set. I apologize for our prior inconvenience. Why don't we just reconvene? I couldn't quite put my finger on how I knew you. Oh, this one want to put his fingers all over my... Uh, misunderstanding is what that was. Wait a minute, what is this? Uh, it's cool, brother. Come on, this is your brother? Uh, yes, and he was about to leave. They all were about to leave. Is that right? Yeah. That's right. All right, bye, guys. Bye, Vivica. Good afternoon, gentlemen. You call this gentleman here. I know, I'm gonna fly fire. Yeah, that's fine. You're all fired. What was said? Fired. The opposite of water. What the French would call Lizzie on set. Network hates the show. It says it as an appearance of the younger audience. Damn, I guess they were right. Yeah, whoever they were, the guests were. Oh, shut up. Get off my set. Uh, it, just like that? My lawyers will hear about this. I have a contract. You still didn't pay for half a season. Never mind. It's been a pleasure. You know, I believed in this show. I think you believed in this show. Well, just this I don't want to paid to listen to you. Learn how to dress your room. Bollocks. I'm here. Come on, stay for a moment. Okay, uh, what's up? We all know the show sucks. Yeah. But the network loves you. Come on, Weathers, my friend. You will still play the same role. But in a new show, Time Fractured. This is great news. Yes, yes it is. Now, why don't you run along with your friends and don't come back in the third Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Good work. Ah! Guys. Josh. Trent. Chris. Uh-uh. You wanted us gone, remember? And I want to apologize. I was confused and I was trying to fit in on set. Marcus, I'm sorry I called you DJ Jazzy Jeff. And Anthony, I'm sorry I said you were like Marcus. Josh, I shouldn't have judged your relationship with your father. I was projecting my own emotions and that's something that I have to deal with. Not you. Chris, no. You don't have to apologize. You're my brother. And I love you. I understand. Thank you too. Um, hello? What about my apology? Oh, shut up and give him a hug. He made me miss a perfectly good game of spades, and I lost. I'm sorry. I guess it's okay. I got to meet Vivica Stone today. <laughs> Come on. I have no idea what it's like to be in your shoes. No hard feelings? No hard feelings. I got some hard feelings after seeing Bellica Stone today, though. I'm tired of you. <sighs> well, y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm we had time. one job in I mean, it was earlier, not now. I mean, okay, like a little bit right now, but not like, guys, come on. We might not always see eye to eye, but I know you're always by my side. And it don't matter. Just